Once students have reviewed how to plot points on a Cartesian graph, they should review how to create a table of values. This is a necessary scaffolding skill that helps students learn the concept that y is dependent on x, or y is a function of x. So let's use GeoGebra to help us out here. You first click on Start Creating. Well, first you go to the website, then you click on Start Creating. You click on Algebra. And then you can see the graph that we saw when we were plotting points. But here, to get a table of values, you need to go over to the upper right-hand corner and click on the three lines, the three horizontal lines. Then you click on View, and we would like to see a spreadsheet. So click on Spreadsheet, which gives you the graph and a table of values. Students then can write in A1 values for x and in B values for y and then they can start plugging in. So let's just start with 0 and going down for x, 2, 3 and then we'll add 2 units to each value for x which will give us 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now we have our table of values, but we need to graph these points. So to do that, you go into column C, and you specify where the points are. So for the value 0 for x, that is in column A2, and the y value is in column B, line 3, or row, three, or row 2, and click return and it plots it on the graph. For the next one, the point is column A, row 3, column B, row 3, bracket, return, and again you have the point graphed. It's an excellent tool for students to learn how to create a table of values and start to plot those points on the graph.